Hi, Zabon1975, and welcome to Lead Angels on the Xbox One. That is the Bad Penny, one of my pirate ships. Mm. Uh, named after a chicken called Penny, who used to always, when she, we were putting her away, get really right under my feet and, like, really follow me. She was a lovely little black uh, bantam. Um, bless her. Uh, no longer with us, sadly, but it was a long time ago. Anyway, uh, the Bad Penny is long been one of my pirate ships. It's my pirate crate. Now, as everyone knows, I love a hull tank. This is me coming back to repair after getting absolutely battered in a fight uh, between me, it was me and Al versus Tidy and Psychotic Rob, who I thought left IED, but, you know, <laughs> seems like uh, basically IED and all but tax. Uh, <laughs> So Psychotic Rob, we were fighting uh, Tidy, he was in a ASP with rail guns and uh, me and Al were in Cobras when Psychotic Rob dro dropped in behind me and started blasting me with his metal arms. Kind of a little bit of an unfair advantage in that sort of spud wars. But I came back to the station and switched to my other pirate ship, which is the Bad Penny. I made no alterations to the weapons. Unfortunately, the Bad Penny lately has been used for PvE piracy and has been hunting a lot of those private couriers. Now, if you don't know, those private couriers are round full of valuable stuff, but they're generally um, keelbacks or type sixes, and quite often they run double point defense. Uh, and the best way of dealing with double point defense is pack hounds. So sadly, she's running two pack hound racks with an emissive and a scramble spectrum pulse laser, um, which makes her an absolute nightmare for hull tanks and stealth ships. I didn't mean to be a cheesy spammy git, but it worked very much in my favour. As you can see from this footage, I just came back in my damaged Cobra, limped back to port, and grabbed the ship, made no alterations to it. This is how it was in the garage. Um, and like I say, it, it's really good. Pack counts are really good at taking out point defence. I'd come back in my pirate ship because I was optimistic that I was going to get some piracy done on this evening, but unfortunately it turned into just a lot of fighting. Um, I don't know why IED are policing a community goal in Archon Delane space. Absolutely pointless. Um, I love the fact they're attacking all the power players that are supposed to be here, um, and they're not. Um, it's far from IED territory, far from Imperial space, and here they are, just getting mollywhopped by a ton of uh, chemo crew. But we had fun. Uh, I like Keep It Tidy. He always brings me the most fun and interesting builds to absolutely mess with. Uh, this time he had a railgun asp. I haven't seen a railgun asp for a long, long time. And unfortunately for him, I had to remind him why you don't see railgun asps very often by targeting the railguns and completely pulling his teeth out in two rounds of pack hounds. Um, that's the unfortunate side of um, you know any sort of shieldless hull tank, especially a railgun ass, but all those weapons are very bunched together on the front. Beautiful for, beautiful for placement and volleys. Unfortunately, really, really useless against splash damage. Um, I love a railgun ass, but I really do. I, all the will in the world, I would love it to be a good ship, but it just isn't. I, I tried, I tried for a long time, uh, back when I only flew Lakons and back before Lakon even had a combat ship. I tried to do my best at doing all combat including PvP in an ASP exploder and uh, I exploded many many times with many failed experiments but he's made it tough I'll give him that it's a pretty tough build but as you can see the weapons just get taken out really easily and that, that's it what are you gonna do then you, you gotta you gotta go um, which then left uh, Psychotic Rob in a 2v1 uh, but big respect to Tidy um, I do love the fact that he's rocking that it's very retro it's very chic uh, but ultimately it's like bringing a Fiat 500 to a uh, tank battle. Um, you'll get style points, but that's about it. Uh, as for this cheese ball of a ship, it is... For PvP, it is a cheese ball of a ship, and uh, that's piney crowing away if you're wondering. It is a cheese ball of a ship, but it's for piracy, it's not for combat. Uh, so I don't feel that mean about doing this. Uh, Tidy went for a reboot and repair and came back in, but as you can see, it's not going to take much to malfunction them again and strip them off. So, valiant effort to try and help your wingmate out, but ultimately, yep, I'll be seeing you again. Uh, yeah, 
it's it's a cheese ball build and it's indicative of the problem of hull tanks and stealth ships. I'm a great lover of hull tanks and stealth ships. Um, I tried to do this CG piracy originally in my hull tank Cobra Mark IV, which is kind of a little bit of a stealth ship, but it's not really. I have in my possession three, four, five hull tank stealth ships that are mostly parked on my carrier these days and very rarely come out to play. Um, in fact, I recently took out my Diamondback Scout stealth ship for a bit of a run around just to do some missions and people were like, oh my god, is that an old school stealth ship? As they couldn't see it, uh, <laughs> as it disappeared off. Uh, yeah, Scooby was absolutely surprised how close you can be to that thing and it's still an unresolved contact. But against a ship like the Bad Penny or one of those uh, what uh, people refer to as cancer members, it would be a coffin. It would be death on a stick. Uh, there's nothing much you can do about it. Uh, scramble Spectrum and Emissive absolutely bones hull tanks completely. Um, night Vision bones hull tanks. We've been down this road before. <laughs> We've discussed. Uh, I believe someone in FDEV was killed once by a stealth ship. Probably Tony Curtis in his uh, faz. Probably snuck up behind some poor dev and wiped him out with his frag cannons before the dev noticed the guy was there. Um, <laughs> So I don't know why I'm putting the blame on one of Tony Curtis. There are many assassins that used to use stealth uh, fazes with frag cannons. But he's, he's the first one that comes to mind. And if you've never watched his channel, uh, you should, because it's really funny. It's wrong. Stream sniping is really wrong. But his channel and the way he presents his stream sniping is just rather amusing. Um, I, I am, in a way, disappointed that when I was a space trucker and I used to truck everywhere, I was kind of disappointed that I was never going to get ganked by Tony Curtis because uh, I do enjoy watching his content. But back to the subject at hand, we're all fully aware at this point, hull tanks are boned. <laughs> There's so much in the game, night vision and missive scramble spectrum, that just completely uh, make it redundant. Uh, we were later on fighting a cobra that was mine laying. Fair play to him, that thing was really cool running. But you switch night vision on, it's like, oh there he is. And then all I gotta do is hit him with one laser uh, once, and he's lit up like a Christmas tree. And me and Al can pack out the crap out of him because Al brought pack arms as well because he's just mean. Um, but that's the thing: as pirates, you use pack arms a lot because of point defense, and uh, they're also scary weapons. When someone's like, you know, resisting, and you fire a massive volley of pack arms at them, it looks impressive on the radar. It looks scary. Also, you pack them full of experimental effects which give the people nerve-wracking warnings. Uh, my Cobra Mark IV, for example, now has three fixed missile racks on top and two beam lasers. The missile racks are a disruption uh, in the Chinese knockoff Grom Bomb, flanked by one that does heat, and what does the other one do? I think the other one's probably drag, but might do something else. But basically, it's just three different experimental effects, so it scares them. <laughs> It's not actually there to be effective, it's there it's for intimidation. Uh, to make it look like they're being attacked by something way more scary than a Cobra Mark IV, um, which, you know, uh, isn't that scary. But fair play to the people we did actually fight. I feel sorry for you if you brought a hull tank and you caught us in our pirate ships, I'm sorry. Um, I interdicted two bones and hatch at him and he started firing first. Uh, so I was about to type no cargo free to go and he turned around and hit me with a volley of plasmax so you know i have no regrets about being mean to two bones after that and as for the cobra mine layer um after i shot al uh once i lit him up i had no regrets about killing him either because those things are horrible and i had to go and repair my shield generator and that's all his fault plus he stalled my engines out a couple of times which is really annoying uh, but I respect people who still rock hull tanks or things with small little bi weaves that go stealth or stealth ships. Uh, proper old school stealth ships, I love them, I adore them, um, but they are impractical and coffins these days and it is sadly due to a missive and scramble spectrum being so bad. Um, yeah. But as pirates, you know. I'm going to exploit and use stuff like pack hounds to take out point defences, overwhelm defences, take out point defences so my hatchbreakers can get through. And unfortunately, that means if you do bring a hull tank when I'm in one of my pirate ships, um, yeah, don't attack us. 
<laughs> it's mean. I don't like doing it. Uh, wow, I can't say that because I did actually enjoy watching Tidy jump out after his weapons were taken out, to be honest. Um, I respect him for bringing the ass, but man, we stopped using that a long time ago for a reason. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching.